after you have developed an analytical LCMS method and before you can st start using this method to provide service to the customers, you need to demonstrate that your method is performing as expected under intended use. This means that you should demonstrate to the customer that they can be confident in the results obtained with their method. These customers may be either companies, public bodies or other. But not only that customers are in, inter interested in the um, confidence of your results, it's also important to demonstrate to yourself that your results are acceptable. For example, that when you analyze toxins in the French cheese, you do not get false positive results that cause the throwaway of a large batch of this French cheese causing large economical loss. Or when you're analyzing metabolites in the blood, then you can be sure that uh, wrong analysis results do not get a patient described a wrong medicine. Therefore, you need to demonstrate that your method is fit for purpose. This procedure is called validation. There are three important aspects of validation. These being experimental, objective and scope related. This means that you should always carry out experiments to validate your method. Not only theoretical considerations are enough to validate the method, but these theoretical considerations can be very useful to plan the validation procedure as such. Also, the results obtained during validation need to be accompanied with suitable statistical tests that give objective overview of the results not only to analyze the results based on the subjective opinion of someone. And also the validation results obtained are related to the scope of your method. For example, when you have validated a method of glyphosate analysis in the grain, you can't use these validation results to give confidence to a glyphosate analysis in the groundwater. First, because the matrices of these samples are significantly of different and with very different complexity. And also because the desired concentration range are very different. In the following videos, we'll go over, we will give overview how to plan the experiments and also how to accompany this with the suitable data treatment. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.